Blue made the first charge at Scorpius Rex. She jumped on him, biting his neck. Scorpius tried to shake her, her off of him. Indirector then made his attack on Scorpius. He bit the Scorpius' neck as Scorpius screamed out in pain. Hybrid versus Hybrid. But this Hybrid was joined with a regular dinosaur. Blue used her speed and an intelligence as an advantage against the Scorpius Rex. It was almost like fighting the Indominus Rex again. But this time, there was a good hybrid fighting with her. Indirector uses strength and raw power, whereas an advantage as well. Scorpius was stronger, his claws were sharper. He uses quills, but it doesn't do anything to Indirector, not a phase. Scorpius tries to swing at Blue with his tail, but Indirector used himself as a meat shield, protecting Blue. But there was no way he was going to allow this monster to hurt his pack number. Also, his love and trust. Indirector then made, a made a his attack on Scorpius. He bit the arm of the Scorpius and scratched him multiple times in the face. The Scorpius was strong. Yes. Indirector was strong, yes, but Scorpius proved to be stronger. He slashed Indirector a few times. I managed to penetrate his armor. Now Indorado had a weak spot for the Scorpius to attack. With his quills. Indorado dodged that dodge quickly. In the Scorpius's tail. Blue bit the Scorpius by the arm. And then headbutted him. Indirector Blue knew that they were not going to win. The Scorpius has the advantage out here in the open. In the open, he can easily lose it too. Or an ambush them without them even knowing it. Indirector and Blue had to fall back. They needed a new plan. The Scorpius roared out in triumph over his victory. Then he went back on killing more dinosaurs, but at least he also ate some of them, so at least he wasn't completely killing for sport. Back at Blue and Indirectors' territory, they managed to get inside of their home, the old visitor center of Jurassic Park. Blue was cleaning Indirectors' wounds. They were discussing on how they were going to take him down. They need a plan. What they need is a tight closed space. Close enough for Indirector to, to move around quickly enough. A space where the two of them can maneuver quickly. And let alone get the advantage. The Scorpius proved to be a little slower. Where, and let alone be a quite a little in a hurry ready to get the battle done. So that proved to be an advantage for the two. Indirector then took a look at their home and and told Blue I wonder if they can use their own home as a as the advantage. Blue thought about it she replied to Indra that, that it might work. Their home is not that wide. It's not that that wide. It's not that opened. It's perfect. 
for the 2-2 maneuver quickly and killed Scorpius. About a few days later, the two waited long enough for Indirector's wounds to heal. They were not fully healed, but there were some impressive battle scars. They went to trick the Scorpius by night. They know it was a bad idea. Scorpius, they were entering into Scorpius' domain. He may not be as fast as a raptor, but he knows how to maneuver around on trees. They end up looking for clues, anything, anything they could find. Eventually, Blue found a track of the Scorpius. But then, Indirector found claw marks. The tracks were fresh, but the claw marks were even fresher. The tracks were going north, but the claw marks were going south. Then, Indirector spot tracks too. Then they realized, there's two of them. Two Scorpius Rexes. How are they going to possibly handle two? Then Blue and Indra remembered. Dr. Wu only made one Scorpius Rex. So then, why is there another one? Where did the other one come from? Then Indra remembered something about the frog. When he was... When Jurassic World was still operational, while well, still working, and there were hundreds of people, he remembered something that Dr. Wood said about his original project. Well, it wasn't exactly Dr. Wu, but it was someone who mentioned that they put a little too much frog DNA on Scorpius Rex. And frogs are asexual. They can reproduce without a mate. Then, it hit Indirector. Scorpius Rex is both male and female. He instantly told Blue that, and now they had two Scorpius Rexes to handle. There was no way they were going to handle two at a time. By the time they killed the first one, the other one might have reproduced already. They decided to go back home and, and make a new plan. They couldn't just lure the Scorpius Rex here. At least not the original one. Besides, it's kind of hard to tell which one is the original one. Then again, Indirector left a bite mark on its neck. So they could tell which one is the original one and which one is not. Blue and Indirector knew that they had to lure the Scorpius Rex here somehow. But what? Indirector and Blue decided to go separately. They are going to see and try to study the Scorpius Rex to see how they are going to lure them, them to, to their home. But then they had to consider on the destruction of their homeland. Meaning, they had to bring the whole place down on the Scorpius Rexes. It may be the only way. Feeding the Mosasaur to them is not an option. The quills on, on their tails can easily poison the Mosasaurus instantly. So they have no choice. They have to lose their home. And Raptor and Blue will have to find another one. But first they had to study their opponents. See what they like the most and then use it against them. 
and Red and Blue went their separate ways. Blue followed the tracks that went north, and Red and Blue followed the tracks that led south. Blue came across when Ankylosaurus her. She hid in the bushes, not wanting to get them on high alert. She saw a familiar face. It's Bumpy. The baby in Kylosaurus. She remember coming across her her before. Then she heard the the elder in Kylosaurus get on high alert. And boom. The original Scorpius Rex. He was back. Blue was only hoping that the Ankylosaurus might stand a chance. The Scorpius roared intimidatingly, expecting them to run away. But they weren't. They were just standing their ground. Bumpy and the other baby and Kylosaurus were in the middle of the herd. Basically in the center, adults protect their young. The Scorpius tried clawing at the Ankylosaurus, but nothing worked. Then he tried using his tail on them, and it didn't work as well. One Ankylosaurus tries to hit the Scorpius in the face, but misses. But luckily, another Ankylosaurus was body slammed in the Scorpius Rex. They roared intimidatingly. Telling the Scorpius to leave. The Scorpius roared back. He ran away. Blue. She was happy that the Ankylosaurus, at least some herbivores on this island, could stand a chance against the Scorpius. And she was well thankful that they were not completely vulnerable. With Indirector, he was following the second one. It instantly started raining. A new storm was arriving. He growled, saying, Well, ain't this just great? We're gonna lose the trail then. He then heard something. The glowing parasolophists were screaming. They were running away from something. He then looked and saw the second Scorpius Rex. He was jumping, killing one after another. Then once when a lightning stroke happened, it started a little fire. Scorpius turned and looked at it as all the other dinosaurs ran away from it. He just stared at it. He moved closer to it. Indrector had never seen his behavior before. He then remembered back in Dr. Wu's laboratory. He saw the similar thing happen with bugs. They were drawn to the light. But Scorpius Rex was drawn to the fire. He then smiled. That's how they're going to lure them. They're going to lure them with fire. But the question remains, where are Blue and Ender going to get the fire? And how are they going to start the fire? Was the biggest question.